Hello, people. Sorry about I'm um, not doing my own um, every other day thing. I just got caught up in my own little world for a little bit. Let me know if it happens to you guys, like when you guys have a stroke, you guys got a little bit lost in your days, or <clears throat> I don't know. I just some days I feel like I'm I'm all there. And some days I just feel kind of down. Um, right now I don't have my AFO brace on. And I do appreciate you guys giving me your time. I try to do what I can. Um, I do have a few jokes. And a few little quotes or something like that. What does um, Alexander the Great and Winnie the Pooh have in common? And if you guys can, um, subscribe to my channel. If you got any comments, leave them down below. So what does Alexander the Great and Winnie the Pooh have in common? Their middle name. Anyways, so what I'll be doing today, since I don't have my AFO brace on, I'm going to be doing some cab raises. I'm going to be using the Pilates ring. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a little bit of legs today. We're always going to be doing the shoulders because we can always work on that. But we're going to focus today on our legs a little bit. Anyways. Jeez. We're going to be doing the plies ring. <clears throat> no, we're not working with the mat today. But um, like I said, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna do the cab raises. We're gonna go ahead and adjust the, phone, the camera right now for that. Plus, we're gonna do the Pilates ring. Start strengthening up the legs now. Well, let's just focus on doing some arm things first, okay? Get that out of the way because we don't ever want to give up on that. But I'm not going to physical therapy. I'll be, I'll be off for a couple of weeks. <clears throat> Because I don't know if you guys ever gotten physical therapy. Your insurance has to kick over or whatever. And then you had to turn the paperwork and all that other stuff. And you got to go through the process. So since we got our hands together in praying position. Jesus will look after me and my family. And look after my dog, Peavy. And um, look after everybody out there that's going through whatever they're going through in their physical condition. Please help them out. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And I, I pray because I, I think I need it. I pray every night. I pray that this world gets better for everybody. But I put my hands together so we could do some circles, okay, people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> yeah, some days, people, I get lost a little bit in my thoughts and. And usually I record the day before of, so I would have did recording on Thursday to make my Friday video, which was yesterday. And I just kind of, Thursday I had to go shopping and do my little thing for my food thing. Cause my brother gives me a ride to do that stuff because I'm not able to drive it. I, I'm sure I could drive like an automatic car, but technically they won't let me drive until I take a test or something like that. I guess on some simulator or something like that. And I ain't worried about it right now. Anyways, there ain't nowhere to go, nowhere to see, or nowhere to do out here. And since we got the Pilates ring, let's just stick with it. We're focusing today on legs, though, but I always like to do these because I'm trying to get my strength up. You guys ask how I do things, how I get my strength to my arm. This has been helping out a lot, too. Doing the circles helps out a lot. And you want to keep this arm 
as hard and straight as you can so you want to build resistance up. Hold up your strength. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. When I do those, I do get tingles in my hand. When you get in the tingling sensation, that's obviously you're getting, you still got, you got feelings there still. And that means you're opening up those nerve system, which is good. Those are breakthroughs, people. And you got to start pushing yourself a little bit more each time. And try to stay positive. I, I you know what I mean? I, I kind of fell down for a couple of days right there. Not fell physically, but I mentally, I got brain forks or whatever you want to call it. And it happens. Leave a comment down below if that happens to you people, okay? You know, I, I try to do what I can for for myself and for you guys. Some days are tough sometimes, people. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So let's see how we got this. I'm gonna go over here, do some cab raises, people. Like I said, I, I do not have my AFO brace on. So that gives me more flexibility on my cab. So you want to keep our toes pointed forward. And basically, you're going to be doing like tippy toe rises, which are cab raises since I don't have my, own, my, my two by four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And since we don't have the brace on, I'm going to take my knee brace when I get down and sit down on me. And I'm going to use the Pilates ring to like pinch it, pinch it together. Yeah, I don't know if it affects you guys when you guys, the cold and stuff, you get a little bit more plasticity when normal than usual. So I'm going to put this between the legs, okay? <clears throat> and we're going to squeeze. That's going to build your thigh strength. It's going to be the same idea as like doing this with this. Trying to have, start strengthening up that. Whatever your body parts you're not using, you want to start strengthening it up and getting used to going through the motions because what happened when you had your stroke? You haven't been using those limbs as often as you used to. So you gotta just make do with whatever you can, people. Remember, if you don't have a Pilates ring, you could just use a throw pillow, a throw pillow between your legs and just squeeze it. Whatever you got, people, be creative. If you got one of those balls, like what I used to have, that blue, that blue ball I used to have, that soft one, use one of those in between your legs. Anyways, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Remember, people, you want to be as creative as you can. If you don't got certain things, open your mind to what you can do and what you should be able to do. You shouldn't have no excuse why you can't do the exercise. Improvise. Look around, look around your house and see what you got. That can, you can, if you don't got this, use the throw pillow. If you don't got a um, a stress ball, then use a water bottle. If you don't got a water bottle, um, just use a roll up pair of socks or two pairs of socks. Roll them up and just squeeze the heck out of it. Okay, we're gonna stand up now. And I don't have my knee brace on. I better put it on because I don't have my FO brace on. I don't feel like falling down on this video. I'm sure some of you guys would like to see me fall down or maybe not fall down, but show you how to get back up again. I haven't been practicing that a whole bunch lately. Probably because it's cold. Anyways.
And definitely there's a lot trickier people when you don't got your one of your braces on, especially if you're used to using it. So what we're gonna do that now right now, since I need to be safe about whatever I'm doing, I'm gonna have my walker next to me. <clears throat> I'm gonna do some squats. So I wanna be safe about doing this. I wanna make sure I got something around me. Remember, always be safe about whatever you do. If you can't, if you don't trust yourself doing it by yourself, have somebody come and help you and assist you. But try to do some of these. If you, if you can't do them by yourself, get some help, please. Okay, let's start with some toe touches to get this stretch going. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, let's, let's see what we got here for another joke. What do, <clears throat> sorry about that. What do drummers call his twin daughters? Wait for it. You know what drummers do? Anna one, Anna two, Anna one, and Anna two. Get it? You know how bands always start up? Anyways, hopefully you guys got that one. If you guys are into music, I'm sure you guys did. If you're not into music, look it up. But anyways, I'm trying to be very careful right now, people. Because my foot is dropping. Since I don't have my AFO brace on. That's what prevents it from happening. And I'm backing out walking, so I got to be careful. Okay, we're gonna do some squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <clears throat> I leave one of my braces on people because I just had to. I'm not totally there yet. I try to be as strong as I can on the videos doing it for you guys, but I'm human, people. I struggle. I struggle with probably more mental than anything. The physical part, it's going to take some time, too. But I try to do my best, people. <clears throat> I get a little emotional at times. I try to suck it up before I get on this video, before I start recording. But some days are harder than others. Some days I just wish I'd wake up and know this is all a bad dream, but you know what? It's not, and you can't reverse what happened. What's happened has happened, so all we can do now is recover. And all we gotta do now is fight the fight and keep doing this. And you get, it's going to take willpower. And it's going to take a lot of mindset to want to do this. And you can do this. If you just put your mind to it, it can happen. It will happen if you put the work into it. You see how good this has been getting. The more work you put into this, the sooner you get it done after your stroke. Is it, the time is now, people. Don't wait until tomorrow to start. Start today. Start your workouts yesterday. Start when you, so you see this. Just start doing it. Applying something to your body. Start working out. Start stretching out. The sooner the better, people. There's going to be some little bit of pain here and there. And make sure if you're not capable of doing some of these exercises or any kind of exercise, make sure there's somebody around you because you do not want to get hurt while you're trying to recover from a stroke. You don't want to hurt your good body parts. Because that's going to slow down the whole process altogether. And it's going to make you lose confidence. 
but don't. Stay strong in your mind. Stay positive with your thoughts and what you do in life. And things are going to come back to you and many times over. No matter what, even if you had a shitty day or whatever the case may be, always try to be nice to others. No need. I know sometimes, like when I first had my stroke, I was kind of like snappy and this and that. Because of my wheelchair, that wheelchair just really put a bad mindset in my head. It made me feel like that was going to be the end of my life. I was going to be in my wheelchair and that's the way everybody's going to look at me. I remember going to the store and being an electric car. Now when I go there, like when I went there yesterday to the store, the the guy at the thing he saw me walking in with the with the cane and stuff, and I'm I'm limping. I'm walking in there, but you know with the cane. He said, "Sir, I, here I got one of those you know those carts for you, know, the electric ones you can ride in." Well, oh, no, I'm okay. He said, Are you sure? And some other guys, like, you can go ahead and get it, because he was like some, I don't know, like I'm not trying to put anybody down because I'm not skinny. But anyway, there was some like overweight guy. He's like, if you're not going to take it, I'll use it. And I just looked at him, but he wasn't like that overweight. And my point is that he probably didn't really need to get on that. He wasn't handicapped or anything like that. And I, I just think that even if you're in a position I am, if you can walk, try to put that effort into walking any chance you can. Put the more time into what you're, you're trying to accomplish, people. And that's on getting focused on getting better. And that's my whole point. And that's why I do these videos to show you that accomplishments can happen. Progress can happen. Maybe not today in one shot. Maybe it's not going to happen in a couple of weeks. But you know what? You put the work in, people. It's going to happen. Remember, follow me on my journey. Please subscribe to my channel. If you like my what I'm doing, please subscribe. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything. I promise my videos are going to get better. That's the other reason I, I didn't put out a video. I've been working on the editing. And because of that, usually when I do these, it's just one shots. But when I'm doing the video, and I've got to put music in the background. I've got to put it in the right spot to make it look more dramatic and more like a movie. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of thoughts, a lot of thought process, a lot of, a lot of headphone stuff. you got to have the headphones on. you got to have... You focus on your computer. You got to be totally into like where every section goes. Man, hope I can still do this with the three days a week thing. I see other people do it, like Casey Neistat, and there's people out there that do daily blogs, or you, he used to do daily blogs. He kind of motivated me. I see like he could do it. He came up from nothing. And he came up and made something out of himself. You know what? I used to, I used to have things going on. I, I blew it. it I had money in the wrong direction, but I had money, but I blew it. And now I'm trying to just rebuild myself, get myself back to normal. Well, normal as I could get. And look, at, because I stretched out, I did. And I'm opening my hand because I use the water bottle a lot. And what I wanted to do is just inspire you guys to do more. I'm going to leave it at that, people. Um, let's see what we got for one more joke real quick. Let's see. I don't know. I, I don't have my glasses on right now. But um, that was two jokes. I promise you I'll give you guys four on Monday. So I'm going to leave it. You guys have a good weekend. Sorry I didn't drop the video like I usually do, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I've been trying to add it, and it takes a lot of time and effort, and i just been... Like I said, I go to my ups and downs too, people. I try to keep a happy spirit and great and all this and that. I try to do what I can for you guys. But some days I just, having a stroke really messes with your brain. I don't know, let me know below if that happens with you guys. You guys go through some fogginess and little depression. I try not to be depressed. Like right before I start this video, I try to always put motivational videos on. So it can motivate me to do stuff, but even if I watch them, it's not the same kind of motivation what I'm trying to provide for myself and provide for you guys. It's a whole different mindset, people. But we could do this if you just keep putting the work in, okay? You guys have a good weekend. I want to leave it at that. Be nice.